Question 7 is from lesson 8.2 ellipses and circles. Here we need to find the eccentricity of ellipses. Here this is the standard form of ellipses. Now the most important differentiation between these two is horizontal orientation, vertical orientation. You can see when it's horizontally oriented, it will be along the x-axis. And x-axis is the major axis that is denoted by a squared. Whereas the minor axis is by b squared. Here it's the other way around since it's vertically, the y-axis is the major axis. You can see it's y minus k divided by the major axis squared. Now major axis is 2a, a value will be half from this to this is a. We write a squared in the standard form. Here see x minus h whole squared divided by a squared. Then there is another important formula, relationship between a, b, c. It is given by Pythagoras theorem. Now what happens is a is the biggest side. So when you add b squared and c squared, that will be equal to a squared from Pythagoras theorem. This is the hypotenuse. So now if you take b to the other side, it becomes minus b squared. And this is the formula for finding c. Now with this basic information, we can easily solve all these problems. They are all the same. Now first thing, looking over here, what is a value? a is not 72, a squared is 72. So what will be the a value? It will be root of 72. What about b squared? 54, b is equal to square root 54. What about c? Square root a squared minus b squared. This is another important thing, minus b squared. Now when you're substituting, don't substitute root 72 the whole square. You know a square value is 72, do it directly. And 54, here you go. But this is just finding a, b, c. What do we have to find is eccentricity of the ellipse, which is given by e is equal to c divided by a. This is the reason why we find, find the value of c. So now let's find c value and substitute over here. And then we have a value that is square root 72 and that will give us the answer. We need to use our calculators now. Square root 72 minus 54 over here is equal to 3 root 2. See, you can take the decimal point as well, but it's better to take the exact value. You'll get the exact answer, isn't it? Over here also it's 3 root 2. So now this divided by root 72 gives us the answer that is half so you can see over here they have taken decimal value still you're going to get the same answer no worries but here you get the exact value of half same way you can do these problems by yourselves now what is the a value bigger value is a so a squared is 40 40 b squared is 12 a is equal to root 40 b is equal to root 12 c value will be equal to square root of a squared minus b squared so c is square root of 40 minus 12 so we can directly do it square root of 40 minus 12 that's square root 28 and over here we can write 2 2 root 7 and now what is e value c by a that is 2 root 7 divided by root of 40 this is 40 and that will be the answer we have this divided by root 40 will give you the answer that is 0 0.84 you can consider okay they have taken 837 three decimals so that's the answer so that's how please do try solving all these problems by yourselves over here a squared value is 57 and b squared is 14 and then the same method that's it so other problems are also simple similar uh, let me just check if there's any other difficult problem. No, they are just the same. You know, all the worked out solutions are there. We'll just quickly solve this one. A square is 38. A is equal to root 38. What about B square is 13? B is root 13. C is square root A square minus B square. So C is equal to square root 38 minus 13 so c is basically over here you do not need to even put this in the calculator you can just do this right 35 will be 25 square root 25 that's 5 i mean even directly this value itself you can put in the calculator so here we will 
do it as 5 root of 38 and that is the answer it is 0 0.811 and please do solve the others simple problems straightforward problems there's no difference in this very easy topic and that is the end of question 7